Okay, I think it's time for uh, for for the quiz now. The so quiz. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So uh, this is what you can win. Yeah, a Lego uh, C three PO. Um, you need to go to kahoot.it and you need to enter the game pin. And now I'll switch over to another slide because that will, that will actually have a QR code you can scan. Uh, so let's do that. Here we go. I'll be honest, I am still a little bit bitter that I can't win C3. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So if you are like a, a Depper maintainer, like a core maintainer, or you're a Depper community manager, uh, no, you, you cannot join this, uh, unfortunately. So that, that wouldn't be very fair. But to everyone else, please uh, please scan this uh, and, uh, and join. Um, because yeah, uh, you uh, have a pretty high chance now to, uh, to win one of the, um, yeah, or actually one. There's, there's only one, one to win, the LEGO C3PO. And so now this is going to be a bit tricky though, because we are doing this live, but there is quite some delay between live and what YouTube tube is uh, broadcasting. So there is, I think that depending on your region, like 20 to 30 seconds of delay. Mm -hmm. um, so um, I've set it so that the, uh, the question time uh, will be like 45 seconds before you need to uh, answer it. So that it seems like a long time, but for yeah, the, given the time difference between live and actually broadcasting and uh, you might just have like maybe 15 or 10 seconds to to answer it so it's all multiple choice uh so yeah, sometimes you just have to uh, have to guess uh, something um nine questions um and yeah we, we just need to fill the time a bit uh when uh, when we are asking these uh, these questions sure sure uh, so uh, a couple of people have joined. Let's let's wait a bit longer to uh, to allow some people uh, also a chance on this Lego C3PO. Um, I mean, I'm I'm very curious if if people have already some some Lego at home. I mean, maybe you this is the last piece that you need or something. Uh, feel free to write that in the uh, in the comments. I'm very 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 curious. I mean, I would definitely would like it because well, I've got a lot of space stuff Lego. So. Yeah, the, the R2D2 that I have, I'm still building it. It's it's, it's the, the longest process, uh, longest Lego I've I've ever built, to be honest, because I just <laughs> built like one piece uh, piece a week, or it seems now, but I really have to finish it soon. Yeah. So for so for folks in the chat, again, go ahead and let it, let us know if are you all builders, are you Lego builders, or you know what type of models and pieces have you put together? We'd definitely love to know about that. And. Um... Or you know what? If you're if you're not into Lego, maybe you could stick around and get it for one of your kids. If you have children or, you know, young 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 people that are in your family that are into building with Legos and stuff like that, that could be a fun thing for them to do. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Okay, um, I think we should start right now because we probably now have allowed for some people to 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 join. Um, <laughs> I need to catch up with Mark. <laughs> All right, okay. So uh, I will minimize this and we'll, we'll get going. So like I mentioned, uh, nine, nine questions uh, all about Depper and some of the things you probably already have heard during the day. So, uh, and to be honest, if you also joined the previous Depper day, um, yeah, you also might know some of these things already. So that might be actually a benefit. All right, let's get going. Drum roll. This should drum be like roll, a drum yeah. roll music. Oh, yeah, yeah. Leading Leading people sound. Into... yeah, well, yeah I've, I've muted right, the sound. Well, there is a sound. So the first question, what was the code name of Depper? So is it Ooh, Actions, the red one? Is it Blue, the Surface Runner? Is it Yellow, EDAR? Or is it Green, Epcar? Oh, yeah. Tricky. Yeah. yeah. Because there are, there are some good candidates there. I don't think, did, did Mark Rusinovich mention it in, in I don't the opening keynote? Yeah. I don't think so, eh? No. I don't know if you did, but I'll be. I'm curious to see what folks think about it. Like what folks think this answer actually is. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, there are a lot of like good options. I think uh, looking at all of these names, but yeah, yeah. Well, well. Here's here's a question then. What what do you think the name would have been if you had to name Dapper? What would you have named the Dapper Mark? Oh, yeah. If you had your name, what would you have named it? <laughs> tricky, tricky, tricky. Because yeah, naming it, I think, is really the most difficult thing that, that there is out there. So ugh, it is, I, I, it's, it's, it's probably it's probably not not one of these options at all, to be honest. But I, I, I also <laughs> I also don't know what. I mean, something with side. So I think Epcar and need. Yeah, I think that that's still one of the closest. Uh, how I would have named it. 
Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, but yeah, as, as you can see, it's actually actions. So actions is actions. Uh, that was the original name, uh, and yeah, that didn't go through because then GitHub just released uh, their actions just just really? before Dapper uh, was about to mm. release their name. So yeah, that that was not not a good match anymore, and um, so it became Dapper. Yeah, but yeah, AppCar. It, it it sounds very logical. So yeah, I I I, I totally get it why you would choose uh, AppCar. Actions. I could. I get. I get. I could see actions. I could see that happening. It is. It's, it is. It is logical. Yeah. True. That, that doesn't true. make sense to me. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. Let's go to the next uh, question. All right. Next one. Okay. Okay. So Whoever not Cecil is, is doing absolutely horrible. They have zero points <laughs> on the board. That's, my goodness. <laughs> that is so bad. Okay. Uh, uh, let's go. Second question. Uh, in what year was Dapper submitted to CNCF? So this was actually mentioned during the keynote. Mm-hmm. Um, so four. So it is 2019. The red one, the blue one, 2020. The yellow one, 2021. Or the green one in 2022. So yeah, Dapper is five years old. Uh, yeah. What, what, what else can we say? Yeah. Say so then mm-hmm. it must have been 2018. According to my, <laughs> according to my developer math, it must have been 2018. That yeah, yeah, but yeah, but that, that's that answer is not there. So what, what is it then? I mean, yeah. So then, obviously, obviously, the survey is wrong. This question is wrong. Oh, uh, right it's answer. bogus. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I think you just want more opportunity to win it's, the Lego for yourself. Uh, this is obviously a trick question. This has to be a trick <laughs> question. So that's that's all I'm going to say about that. Uh, Okay, so yeah, the, the answer is the right answer is, is 2021, the, uh, the, the the yellow one. And by the way, I'm okay. going to change our layout so we are not overlapping with, uh, with some of these uh, uh, questions on screen here. All right. There you go. All right. Yeah, so, uh, so after like uh, yeah, two two years, uh, a bit more Debra was submitted to CNCF. Uh, yeah, so, uh, and yeah, it's moving into graduation uh, right now. So that's another very big milestone for Debra. So yeah, uh, that's that's really great to see. Yeah, uh, such a move of this uh, this open source project. Yeah, for sure. All right, Gunnar still still on top. All right, doing great. Let's go. The third question: How right, many next question. APIs does Dapper have now, including Alpha and Beta APIs? That's, that's hard. If you if you include <laughs> Alpha and Beta, I mean, I mean. They could have added an API yesterday in beta. I don't know. Like that's not that's not fair. That's okay, not okay. Well, fair. let's assume one fourteen. Yeah? So what one fourteen, uh, which is out there for for uh, like a month and a half now, two months now. So is it okay. red nine? Is blue twelve? Uh, yellow ten or green thirteen? Okay. How many yeah. APIs does Dapper have now? Yes. Hmm. Yes. And you know, well, you know, was one of the things that was interesting today was some of the APIs that were introduced as well, or the APIs that were mentioned. Yeah. I think the conversational one is going to be really interesting. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, exactly. yeah. yeah. The job scheduling one that's in 114 is also interesting. So, oh, definitely. Go. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's very interesting to see this like growing over time, right? So, that, that's also very cool. I mean, not only can you run Dapper eh, across different types of compute, but also use different yeah. resources. Uh, but also the the API uh, layer is uh, like yeah in, increasing quite a bit, yeah. so we can see that the answer is twelve. So at the moment there are twelve uh, APIs that you can use uh, with 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 Dapper. So yeah, nice. that's, that's looks like cool. most people got that one right. So that's yeah that's exactly good. yeah they they've been paying attention because there was quite often like a slide with all of the APIs. So uh, yeah, well done, well done. Let, let, let's see what the score is now then. Oh oh yeah yeah there was definitely some change yeah. But yeah, okay. Gunnar, Gunnar, yeah, oof, that, that, that's going great. Okay, okay, but things might still change. Yeah? I mean, now question four, so we'll see. The three most dapper APIs. Well, most I, popular. I, yeah, 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 most popular APIs. Yeah, so I actually shared this mm. in state of dapper reports that I briefly showed. So maybe you still know. So it's a state management pop up or bindings. It's the red one. Is it state management pop up service verification? The blue one, service verification pop up bindings. Yellow one, or state management pops up and workflow the green one. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, and by the way, creating all of the, the the slides and all of the images for for like Dapper stuff becomes like harder and harder each time a new API <laughs> comes up. <laughs> it does. It does. Uh, yeah, quite a challenge now. I mean, now it's it's nice for these twelve, but yeah, either I need to make everything smaller. Yes, yeah, most people had this correct in the chat. State management pops up, 
and the service invocation. Actually, the order is like pops up as the, uh, the most used one, and then service invocation is, is the second one, and state management was the third popular one. Hmm. Got it. Yeah. Nice. Makes sense. Yeah. All right. Let's see what uh, if the score changed a bit. Well, still, still Gunnar uh, way, way, uh, way on top. <laughs> All right. Nice. Let's move okay. on. The fifth question: Residency policies were introduced in which Dapper release? Oh, that's a this really a good question. Very specific one. <laughs> so, that's is it really in question. version one point five, the red one? Is it in one point six, the blue one? One point seven, the yellow one, or one point eight, the green one? Yeah, you. Yeah, probably people have to guess now. I don't know. Or you need to very quickly <laughs> all of the release notes of all of the uh, very quickly <laughs> Google it and you'll find out what it is. Uh, but yeah. you know what? I'll be honest with you. I'm I I'm surprised that resiliency isn't one of the more popular APIs. To be honest with you, because I feel like that's one of those things that everyone would want to use, right? Like I, everyone, a lot of folks are going to want to use service discovery, and then service discovery and resiliency just kind of go well together, right? Just yeah, like yeah, it does yeah. with the state store, just like it does with some of the other things. So yeah. I'm definitely a little surprised. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, it, it might not get as a lot of visibility as, as the other points. I mean, there is a lot of uh, resiliency already built in. Eh? So yeah, if you yeah. don't care about it that much, yeah, you already have these built-in resiliency policies. But yeah, you can definitely override them and configure them and, and customize them to your, to your needs, which is which is great. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, so yeah, it's it's in one point one point seven. Yeah. So which did not have uh, most of the votes. So only two people had this right for one point seven. All right. Ooh, let, let's see what uh, what this did to the score now. Yeah, well, Johan in the chat uh, is saying what? he was off by one. See, like those off <laughs> those off by one errors, with... man. <laughs> Developer math is hard. Yeah. I'm telling you, those off by one errors is, are problematic. Yeah, yeah. That, that should count like half a point, I think, still, right? Yeah. <laughs> <Sure>. <laughs> We should give participation points. You get half a point when you just submit an answer. Definitely, yeah. Well, there's definitely a prize for everyone uh, here uh, today, so I'll just have to have to wait a bit. Okay. All right. Three questions to go. How many state store components does Dapper have? Oh, that's hard. Too. That that's hard. Yeah. And by the way, I counted this in version one thirteen, so it might, it might be even a bit more. So it's like fifteen red. Is it nineteen <sighs> blue? Twenty five mm. yellow or twenty eight green? Yeah, that's a good question. Yeah, this is also some. Well, the, the, this one is, I think, a bit easier to find to to to, to Google uh, if you find the right Deborah Docs page and do like a quick count. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or maybe people are using like Chat GPT for these things. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm I'm kind of curious. Uh, yeah. Um. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely a lot, right? I mean, no, no matter what the answer is. So For yeah, sure. twenty eight. So yeah, and most people oh. had this uh, had this right in it. Yeah, so that is like a, a quite a big number, uh, the number of states. I think it's also the the API that has the most components in general. Yeah. So yeah, pretty pretty impressive. Okay, any change to the scoreboard? Well, yeah, some changes. Yeah, Kadi is now it's, it's gaining. It's gaining. Then there might still be a possibility to uh, to throw Gunnar off the first place. Okay, let's uh, let's see. Um, how many people contributed to Dapper release one fourteen? So that is uh, mentioned. I'm going to go with two hundred. I would pay two hundred. <laughs> to two hundred. Uh, you want you want to combine options? Maybe it's multi select. You want to you want to. I think that's what should happen. I think it should be uh, a combination of the yellow one and the blue one. We should put yeah. those together. We'll get two hundred. Uh -huh. I did not think that while making this 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 quiz, but that would have Same. been a nice one with a sort of a Easter egg thing to combine. You see, Mark, answers. I know you're just trying to trick us. Like these trick questions are not gonna no. Like I I know what you're doing. Yeah, I but I I, I won't see three PO for myself. I need a companion <laughs> for R two D two. So yeah. I I know that's exactly what's that. you're trying to keep the the Lego for yourself. Yes, yes, of course. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, 75, 95, 105, or one hundred fifteen. It's 115. Mm. Yeah, yeah. With, with each Depper release, this 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 number is also growing, which is yeah, great to see, right? And contributions are could also be like docs or like indeed yeah, the, the the runtime or, or components, uh, SDKs. Um, yeah, the, the, these are collected from all uh, across all repos. Um, yeah, it's really cool to see that this number is also growing uh, with each release. So yeah, uh, thank you to all of people who have contributed to uh, to Depper release 114. 
Ooh, ooh, oh yeah, it's getting more exciting now. You see this? Ooh, nice. It's it's nice. close. It's Oof. close. And we have two more questions. Two to questions. So let's, okay. Let's see what How much development time is saved when using Dapper versus not using Dapper? So this is from the uh, last year's State of Dapper uh, report. So is this one is this time? Is this like minutes, hours? Like what uh, no, per percentage. Yeah. So how percentage-wise, how much development time is saved? Okay. So it's like thirty percent, twenty percent, fifteen percent, ten percent. Okay. Okay. How much time is saved? That's a great question. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, and this is also one of the reasons why it's it's nice to have these surveys because yeah, otherwise we wouldn't have any clue eh, if, if how how useful uh, is Dapper, how how much value yeah, uh, does Dapper bring? Yeah. So uh, yeah, it's it's very useful to have this state of Dapper report and also having a lot of developers uh, fill it in because yeah, the more people who, who fill this in, yeah, the more accurate it gets. So um, and yeah, it's it's thirty percent, which is uh, yeah, really really quite a high percentage. Wow. Okay. So uh, yeah, that that's really amazing. Yeah. So yeah, I, I, I tell that at almost every Dapper talk I give that uh, on average need it saves about 30% of development time. I think that I think the answer here is just go with the biggest number. Just go with the biggest <laughs> Sometimes, so yeah, yeah, yeah. But for definitely some questions, it, it definitely is the case. Yes, yeah, true, true. All right, uh, final question. Oh, let's see first the score. Oh, oh my God, whoa. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Good, good, goodbye, Gunnar, I'm, I'm sorry, but hey. okay. One one question left. Let's okay. uh, let's see. How many users are registered on the Depper Discord server? So is that five thousand seven hundred, six thousand seven hundred? I think it's ten thousand. It has to be ten thousand. Right? <laughs> Eight thousand seven hundred. Yeah, at, uh, oh, at the end of this event today, at the end of the event today, it's going to be about ten thousand. I, I I I almost guarantee it. I will I will bet that Lego C three PO. That is almost ten thousand. I will put I will I will put my CP three PO my C three PO on the line yes. to say that this is what it is. Yeah. All right. All right. Let's uh, let, let's see. I mean, this this number was definitely mentioned. I think twice uh, during uh, during this conference, um, but I think it was quite early on, right? So maybe uh, those people are not online anymore. Who, who knows? But yeah. Someone I, in the chat said uh, Gunnar went to get coffee. Thought he <gasps> had it in a bag. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Can't can't sleep on C three PO. No, yeah. no, 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 no. You have to be you like pay attention. You have to, yeah, I have to stay here. Oof. Yeah, it's yeah, it's seven thousand seven hundred and a bit. So uh, yeah, pretty, pretty pretty impressive number. But it's not the biggest number, right? So in, in this case, your 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 strategy my, wouldn't have worked. My logic did not work. No, not this yeah. time. Yeah, but yeah, definitely an impressive uh, impressive number. So yeah, definitely if you have questions about Depper or if you want to help out other people with Depper, definitely uh, go to the Discord server. All right, so drum roll. Yes. Okay. On is... Number three, Gunnar, three thousand two hundred points. Number two, Jorn, three thousand seven hundred points. And number one is, oof. Okay. Kadi or Kadi, congratulations, runners up, Olivier and Olivier. Okay, so Kadi, it's very important because I don't know who you are because this was like anonymous. Mm -hmm. uh, Kadi, congratulations, but it's very important that you send me an email so I can send you your prize. So uh, Kadi, uh, only you can send me an email. Uh, <laughs> everybody only else, Kadi. don't send me an email. Nobody else or, email Mark. Or, please uh, leave Mark alone. Please make make a screenshot of, of of your phone or device or whatever uh, that that you use to play with. So so I know it's you. Uh, please send me an email at, at mark at digrid .io and I will make sure that uh, you'll get this uh, Lego C three PO. All right. Okay. This uh, this was fun. I I enjoyed this. Thanks all for uh, for for playing. And um, yeah, that, that brings us to uh, to the end. As all, it's 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 almost over. This is an amazing wow. day, man. This is a fun day. Um, super happy for all of you folks that are still here. We have over we have almost three hundred people that are watching us right now for the entire day, and the number just yeah. keeps going up. So I think for me, that means they want us to stay longer, but we can't because <laughs> you know time is time is finite. It's but we really appreciate all of you joining us today. It's been an amazing day. We had some great. Opening keynote, closing keynote. We have some great sessions from our speakers and our community members in Dapper. Um, again, I'm going to say this again. Go to the Discord channel. If you want to talk to... I, I, yeah. I But I mean it. Like, go to Discord yeah, channel. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Talk definitely. To folks if you want to learn about stuff, if you want to know what people are building or, you know, kind of help, you know, um, brainstorm ideas with folks, like, that is definitely the best place for you to go. 
Exactly, yeah. And as I thank you, so maybe you didn't win the Lego C3PO, but we can still give you this digital community supporter badge. And I did read in the comments, it would be nice to have like a, uh, a dedicated event badge for next Dapper Day. I, I totally agree. Uh, so next year I will make a dedicated um, Dapper Day badge, uh, but but for now you can you can claim this community supporter uh, badge. The only thing you need is like a GitHub account, uh, because you need that to uh, log into uh, into Holopin. Nice. Um, we have a lot of more Dapper badges that you can uh, that you can uh, claim. So, for instance, if you write a blog post, you can uh, you can get a Dapper badge, or if you um, uh, speak at an event such as this one, you can get a Dapper badge, or if you contribute to uh, you know, one of the many Dapper repositories. Uh, so there's lots of Dapper badges that you can collect. So please uh, collect them all. Got to catch them all. Exactly. Exactly. Yes. And yeah, well, let, let's let's end with the Dapper Discord slide yet again, <laughs> because we would love you, Neat, if you, if we see you there. Um, and maybe you have some questions after today, or maybe you want to dig deeper into Dapper. Uh, there's lots of resources linked also in uh, in the Dapper Discord. So uh, hopefully we'll see you there. Thank you everyone for for joining, and yeah, hopefully. Uh, uh, to the winner, build some uh, some Lego, and otherwise enjoy your digital badges. Uh, read up how to become a Dapper Meteor, and um, yeah, let's uh, let's see each other at the uh, next community event. All right, folks, thanks so much, and we'll see you next time.